Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best red cameras. Starting at number 5. Nikon ZFC. We've got another Nikon entry in our list of best cameras for photos and videos, and the Nikon ZFC has earned its place with gusto. It's also topped the list in our best beginner cameras guide too, and for good reason. It's a gorgeous, timeless-looking camera that is a joy to use. It's well-suited to casual users, which is what the C in the name signifies, thanks to its straightforward use and user-friendly approach to camera controls. We think Nikon could do with improving the continuous shooting option mode, so if you're a professional looking to shoot sports or action, you may want to choose a different model. However, for other types of photography, the noise reduction performance is outstanding. Even in low-light situations, you can raise the ISO and still capture remarkable photos. We tested this in our hands-on Nikon ZFC review and could push the ISO to ISO 12800 and still achieve acceptable images with minimal unwanted noise, very impressive. The autofocus is designed to prioritize people, maintaining pin-sharp focus on their faces. This feature is ideal for capturing candid street photos, portraits or important events like weddings, where capturing fleeting moments is crucial. The quick and responsive touchscreen ensures you won't miss any spontaneous shots, and the camera is fast overall, ready to start shooting in less than a second after turning it on. Coming at number 4. Sony A7R4. While the Sony A7RV may have stolen the limelight from the A7R4, this is still an excellent camera. And its lower price point means it still has an audience. As long as this camera is still available, it's going to impress whoever picks it up. One of our favorite things about the Sony A7R4 is its huge 61 megapixel sensor. It's great at picking up small, intricate details and it handles low light conditions extremely well. It's a great choice for astrophotography too, and it performs so well that it's secured a place in our best cameras for low light photography guide. In our Sony A7R4 review, we compared the camera to its predecessor, the Sony A7R3. Even though some of the upgrades may not seem significant at first glance, they make a considerable difference in practical use. Even subtle changes, like the more prominent and tactile buttons, greatly enhance the camera's usability, especially if you're wearing gloves or shooting in low-light environments. At number 3. Canon EOS R7. The EOS R7 almost feels like a rival to most full-frame cameras despite having a crop sensor. That makes it more compact and more affordable, but it's surprisingly powerful and an utter joy to use. While professionals will likely be put off by its APS-C sensor, it's a fantastic choice for photography beginners, offering them a great set of tools to master the medium with. You'll find seven stops of in-body image stabilization IBIS in the R7, an unusual, but very welcome, feature for a crop sensor camera. IBIS means you can achieve sharper, steadier images in lower light and at longer exposures even when you're holding the camera in your hand, which can be a lifesaver if you're in a pinch without a tripod setup. There are other neat features here too, like dual SD card slots, again, something rarely seen in crop sensor cameras, which allows you to either back up your shots or choose to save across two different memory cards. We also love its autofocus, which works fantastically well, even in low-light situations. Number 2 of my list Sony A7R-V We love the Sony A7R-V. It's one of the best all-rounder cameras on the market for a multitude of reasons. Its huge 61MP sensor is practically unrivaled, able to capture incredible detail in every shot. And in terms of video, it's capable of shooting in 8K. It's bolstered by a revolutionary and powerful AI-powered autofocus system too, which really sets the A7RV apart from the competition. Known as real-time recognition, the autofocus technology here uses deep learning to distinguish between a range of subjects. It can pick out subjects like vehicles, animals, people and insects, and if you're shooting people, it can even distinguish between body parts, being able to tell a neck from a nose and an eye from an elbow. It makes focusing an absolute dream, and in use it's a real game changer. 
Another new feature that we loved is the 4-axis, multi-angle 3.2-inch LCD screen, which is a vast improvement over the tilt-only screen featured on its predecessor, the A7R4. This screen is extremely versatile and can handle just about any angle you might choose to shoot at with no net craning needed. You can flip it out to the side and spin it around to shoot vlogs or selfies, or you can tilt it down and out to bring the screen away from the ports when you're connecting up microphones or monitors. To top it all off, it's 63% higher in resolution than the screen on the A7R4, making it vivid and detailed to use. And number 1. Nikon Z8. If you're a beginner photographer, you'll likely be put off by the price tag of the Nikon Z8, it comes in around $4,000. But if you can afford it, this is an absolutely excellent camera that doesn't disappoint in any way. If you're a professional or a serious enthusiast with a big budget, the Nikon Z8 does everything you could possibly want it to with gusto. Our full Nikon Z8 review is seriously gushing, and the bottom line is that this is the best camera body on the market right now. We think it has all the best bits from Nikon's flagship Nikon Z9 and the excellent Nikon D850 DSLR. No matter what type of shooting you prefer, this beast is up for the job. Whether you're interested in shooting stills or video, the Z8 excels at both. It's a great all-rounder, but it's more than capable of focusing on one or the other. In terms of video, it's able to support numerous high-quality formats such as N-Log, ProRes and RAW HQ, and for shooting stills, it can shoot at speeds of up to 120 FPS, that's blisteringly fast, in case you weren't sure, and ideal for capturing fast-moving subjects like sporting events. The Nikon Z8 is also a powerhouse in low-light conditions, making it a great choice for astrophotography. We particularly appreciate its night vision mode which, when activated, dims the rear screen and uses only red pixels, helping users to maintain their night vision. It's a very nifty feature that we wish more cameras would offer. The one minor downside of the Nikon Z8 is its size and weight, it's a bit bulky and heavy. So, if you're looking for something compact and easy to carry while traveling, this might not be the best choice. However, considering its impressive power, we think this trade-off is definitely worth it. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.